Name, image, and likeness, NIL, as the term suggests, refers to a person's right to control the commercial use of his or her name, image, and likeness, essentially implying a legal right to personal identity. In the context of collegiate sports and its athletes, the NIL rulings have recently transformed the landscape, historically dominated by NCAA policies that protected an amateurism paradigm. About a century ago, the NCCA was founded to protect the amateur nature of collegiate sports. Until recently, this protection held firm, preventing college athletes, despite their fame and talent, from earning money from their NIL rights. This meant they couldn't sign endorsement deals, create their businesses using their sports fame, or even monetize their online platforms, like YouTube channels, if they were related to their athletic pursuits. However, this rigidity began to crumble with the Fair Pay to Play Act, passed by California in 2019. The law coming into effect in 2023 allows athletes to profit from their NIL rights. This pivotal shift incited other states to initiate similar bills, challenging the NCAA's longtime stance. Finally, in 2021, NCAA decided to lift its restrictions on NIL earning opportunities for athletes. The significance of these changes is profound for thousands of students who play collegiate sports. Their talents and fame can now be a source of income, a boon for many student athletes who have previously struggled to reconcile the demands of their sport and the need for financial security. It also provides opportunities for financial growth and entrepreneurial ventures. There are several promising implications of NIL rights for student athletes. The first obvious one is financial gain. Athletes can now leverage their talents and hard work to earn endorsements, sign autographs, teach sports lessons, or promote products, delivering an income stream previously forbidden. They now have the opportunity to build their wealth at a young age and secure their future financial stability. It can also provide a way to finance their education or support their families. Moreover, it acknowledges their personal brand value and lets them be more entrepreneurial, teaching them life lessons about the business world, brand creation, and negotiation. However, the unfettered commercialization of college sports lends itself to some significant concerns. Critics worry about the potential exploitations of young athletes. The threat of unscrupulous agents and unfair contracts could hover over student athletes, many of whom may lack business savvy. Furthermore, the focus on lucrative sports could create an uneven playing field, disproportionately benefiting certain athletes over others. The desire to strike high-paying deals could blur the line between academics and athletics, potentially neglecting academic pursuits. There's also the fear of deepening disparity between wealthier and poorer schools. If star athletes are lured by rich endorsement opportunities offered by wealthier schools, it could exacerbate the talent and financial gap among collegiate athletic programs. In summary, the recognition of NIL rights for college athletes represents a significant shift in the sports industry, breaking the century-old mold of strict amateurism in favor of recognizing athletes' commercial value. This transformation brings both opportunities and challenges. On the one hand, it provides a well-deserved financial boon for student-athletes, and on the other hand, it presents risks of potential exploitation and income disparity. It's crucial to continue monitoring these effects and even consider safeguards to ensure the fair and beneficial implementation of NIL rights.